Hello and welcome once again to the Rugged Rock Hound. Today's been actually kind of an interesting journey already. So originally we were trying to take a road that took us down off the plateau looking for petrified woods. So you got the Colorado River down there. We're in Utah actually. Colorado's over that way. And the LaSalle's are back that way. So this area apparently is known to have some old fluorite prospects and mines. I think they also found maybe some copper ores and stuff. Not entirely sure. Anyway, it was Eric who did the research on this one. We weren't actually going to come out here. These were just some pins he had on his map to hopefully as a backup because we, we couldn't get to the wood. All right. So we tried to get to the wood. We couldn't get there because there's enough runoff that a creek that's normally pretty dry was a river. <laughs> we couldn't get across. So uh, here we are here just hoping. So you've got these sandstone cliffs above us. And then below us, we've got a bunch of granite. A lot of it's darker color, but every now and then you see some lighter color veins of it. And I'm just hoping we can find something out here. Anyway, if we do end up finding anything though, here's GPS to this area. You can come out and give it a try as well. Well, I uh, might be off to a better start than I thought. I just right here saw this sticking out and I was like, oh, some nice feldspar and quartz on it. And I picked it up and look at the bottom of it. So either that's some really weathered biotite or possibly tourmaline. I'm going to spray it off and see if maybe there's tourmaline. Okay, after spraying it off really good, I think it's just weathered biotite. But that's cool because these are large crystals. So maybe indicative of a pegmatite somewhere around here, which is good because then you can get terminated crystals of quartz and feldspar and maybe larger books of mica. And who knows what else? So, okay, that's exciting. Just found this one. Nice, large crystals of pink feldspar. Some good quartz that looks like it's trying to turn into crystals. And what might be tourmaline. It does have the, the look of tourmaline, small little crystals of it, but I need to look at it closer to be sure. I'll take it home. What you're looking for while you're out here, you'll get to this granite and it's this light color. There's a dark colored granite that's out there. I'd have to put the other lens on to show you. But what you're trying to do is find little spots where the crystals were allowed to grow a little larger. Kind of like that. See, you got the granite and then you got a spot where the crystals were able to grow bigger. And in those spots, what you're hoping for is to find, so in this case, it looks like we got a little tourmaline there. Yeah, I think we got some little black tourmaline crystals going through some of this quartz. But what you're hoping to find is a pocket where there was actually empty space where the crystals could actually fully terminate and give you really nice crystals. Here's this cleaned off. I wanted to look at it a little better. Take a look at that cool tourmaline that's in that quartz. Really cool. That's a cool mica book there. <laughs> yeah. Not too bad. I mean, I'm not going to keep it. Kind of cool. You get these beautiful sections where it's massive quartz and feldspar. But as of yet, I haven't found any more tourmaline coming down this way. And I haven't seen any fluorite that was mentioned. Oh, that's a pretty cool spot. You can see this spot where it's just massive crystals of feldspar and quartz all grown together but I as of yet haven't found any terminated crystals that were exposed no fluorite and up there or that way was the only spot I found any tourmaline which was just a tiny bit so I think what we'll maybe do is just head up the road a little further and go check out one of the one one of the other areas he's got a pin for for other stuff we'll go see and we're at spot number two. So here is an old spot that's supposed to be an old copper and maybe fluorite mine. So we're going to go take a look and see if there's anything there. It's supposed to be down below us here somewhere close to the river. So I'm just going to have to hope that there's something good here because we didn't find much over there except for some small black tourmaline. So yeah. let's hope this is a little better here. Oh, and GPS. Well, we found the mine. Here's the old abandoned mine, and it looks like mostly it was fluorite. We've already been looking over there, and we found some that are definitely fluorite. 
So we're parked up there. So you have to walk, walk down this old mine road across the river. But there it is, the old mine. Don't go in old mines, dangerous. So I found this one, this one's really cool. So you got these cool veins of fluorite and right here we've got some nice crystals of the fluorite. Hopefully you guys can see those. They're pretty cool though. Yeah. Okay, yeah, hopefully we can uh, bust some rocks up maybe and find some better ones, ones that haven't been out weathering. Some of these pieces have another mineral growing on it which looks like blades of barite. So, yeah, I think that's barite. It's possible it's gypsum, but I'm gonna go with barite. This one looks pretty cool. I might have to clean that one off. Here's this one cleaned off. This is a good ex example of that, I think, barite that's on the top. I mean, gypsum makes this form too, but I can't scratch it with my fingernail, so I'm pretty sure it's barite. And you can see how the fluorite formed first underneath and then the barite formed on top. Okay, so we've been pulling stuff up there and I decided to start digging some, finding some darker colored stuff. But I just pulled that out, look at that. Beautiful cubes all over it. Nice green color in there. That's a good fluorite piece. Here's this one washed off, covered with fluorite crystals. Really cool. So many. Just pulled that piece out. Oh, that's beautiful. Really nice color. Good, good crystals there. Yeah, I think we're gonna find a lot of good stuff. He's also pulled out some good stuff already. I just pulled this out. It was really dirty, so I couldn't tell, but then I sprayed it off. Look at that. Beautiful translucent green. Oh, that's pretty. Got a few cubes on the top, but I would love it if those were big cubes, you know? <laughs> Well, maybe there's more of that down here. Here's this one washed off. Nice band of green right there. There's these interesting black inclusions in a lot of these. Not sure what it is. Probably some kind of iron mineral. He just found some. Oh, look at that. You got beautiful cubes here. And you got the nice green band going through it, just like mine. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that, that green vein right there. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's a good that's day. Nice stuff. So Eric was digging, and a toad jumped out of his hole. <laughs> he was in a hole. Apparently, a toad had his hole there. <laughs> uh. oh, what are the chances? Yeah, because you don't get toads out here in the desert very often. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Look what he just pulled out. Oh, those are some good crystals on there. Once they're cleaned up. Oh, that'll look nice. Awesome. Just pulled out another good piece. It's got some of that barite on top, but underneath it's got that nice green. So yeah, we're pulling out lots of good pieces. Here's this one washed off. Bunch of little cubes all over it. And then some, what I think is a whitish barite. As I continue to pour more Pull more cool stuff out. I just got this one. Look at the color in that one. Beautiful deep green. <laughs> it's really nice here, right there. Here's this one washed off. I love this one because right in the middle, there's a little bit of blue. Don't know how well you can see that, but in the middle there is blue fluoride. And then you got the green on the top and bottom. I've been digging this hole. I just pulled this chunk out and I think it's going to be amazing. So let me clean it off. Cleaned it off as much as I could here. It's going to need to go home to get a better cleaning. But look at that. Oh, this one's probably going to be amazing. Probably crystals all over. Beautiful green color. Here's this one washed off. Got some good green color right there. And then I just got fluoride all over. A lot of it's broken. Most of the crystals are small. Still though, it's really cool. Take a look at that. Eric just pulled this one out. Look at that. That 
crystal right in the middle of this pristine. Oh, that's a nice piece. Good find. Thank you. <laughs> I dug a whole bunch. Decided to kind of stop filming because you just can't really see it. And there's all these decent looking stuff I'm leaving behind. So I filled my bag. <laughs> we'll just have to wait till I get home where we can finally see it all and find out what we got. Yeah, it, they're just too dirty to really see. So I'm gonna have to really clean them off well so that we can get a better look at them. Here's this one washed off. Very nice green in this one. Here's this one washed off. Bunch of little cubes on it. A little bit of green in there. Here's this one cleaned off. Some nice green in there. Here's this one washed off. Good green color in the middle there. Some colorless fluoride on the top with some barite. And then here's that good green vein again. Here's this one washed off. Had a nice green color on this side. And some good green right there on the bottom. Here's this one washed off. Some crystals on it there. I like the ones right there. Here's this one washed off. A little bit of green there. So a lot of crystals on this one that are broken, unfortunately. Here's this one washed off. Not a lot of color in this one, but the whole thing is just covered in fluorite. All over it. Here's this one washed off. This is a great one to look at the rock it was growing off. It's this really interesting granite. Large pink feldspars. And here's the fluorite. Nice and green. Here's this one washed off. This one had a great green color to it. Here's this one washed off. Bunch of little crystals. Here's this one washed off. I love the green right in the middle. It's a really strong green color. Here's this one cleaned off. Once again, nice green. And a bunch of crystals on the bottom. Here's this one cleaned off. Nice big crystal. Right there. That is the single largest crystal we found while we're out there. Here's this one cleaned off. Really nice green right there. Kind of just a bunch of stuff going on. Crystals all over here and there. Here's this one cleaned off. Not much color in this one. Mostly it's just we got some good cubes here. Here's this one cleaned off. Bunch of little crystals on this. Really nice little ones. Here's this one cleaned off. Bunch of little nice crystals on it. Here's this one cleaned off. A lot of stacked crystals on this one. A lot of broken ones too. Right there had a nice little pocket. Here's this one cleaned off. Good vein of green down in there. Here's this one cleaned off. Some nice crystals right on the surface there. Here's this one cleaned off. I love how this crystal came through 
and it's just there <laughs> all by its lonesome above the barite. It's pretty cool. There's this one cleaned off. A whole bunch of little crystals. Here's this one cleaned off. I love this formation there. Too bad the crystals are really small and kind of hard to see. So after we had pretty much cleaned everything up and we decided to do a little bit of hiking around before leaving, we went up higher and found some better crystals. Not really green, but they were more yellow. But here's an example of some of those. Better looking crystals. Here's this one. You can definitely see better quality of crystal, but more yellow. And here's this monster. Look at all those crystals all over it. I can't wait to get back out there and really kind of maybe dig into the seams that are further up to see if we can get some really nice crystals coming out of some of those. And we're back in the vehicle. So after we actually dug, we were down there, we realized there might be more. We hiked up and sure enough, there's more mines dotted up there, all with fluoride and some of it looks better. And there's some veins we can dig. So next time we come out here, we're gonna go up there and see if we can get some better stuff. I think, I think there's some good potential for some better stuff up there. Yeah, fun. Anyway, it's time to go. We're tired and it's a bit of a drive back. So until next time, remember there is treasure everywhere.